What's going on, guys? It's Lark from Wellington again. We are going to talk about Bitcoin because we have to because it has hit a new all-time high. I would say it's unbelievable, but hey, what are you going to do? It's Bitcoin. So Bitcoin price news today. We're also going to be talking a lot about the Eastern European factor, looking at Russia, looking at Ukraine. And of course, as always, good advice on how to actually get out there and buy Bitcoin if you're not involved yet. So first, let's look at the price uh, up 30 percent, well, 27.88 percent on the seven days. So that is really good up one percent on the day. Of course, one percent of four thousand two hundred ninety four is a lot. So let's get in here and dive into the numbers. I think it's really interesting to look at actually the markets. So. We are going to go in and look here. So the we're going to have a quick look at price. So top price paid for a Bitcoin. Some great, crazy dude over on Bitilicious. Again, yeah, British pound, huh? So, oh, someone traded out their IOTA for Bitcoin. Oh, look at that. Anyway, so definitely uh, most of the prices here on the exchange are right around here. Again, lots of Japanese yen being bought in. Uh, a few Canadian dollars. So we can go ahead and uh, oh, look at the source here. Oh, by volume, there we go. So again, massive, massive, massive amounts of uh, Korean yuan, Chinese yuan, Chinese yuan, Chinese yuan, and of course uh, USD as well. And USD over on Bitfinex, so we can take that as you know one of our uh, high points, for example. So definitely the price is just increasing exponentially every day. Every day we are seeing the price of Bitcoin go up and up and up and up and up. How high? I don't know. That's a great question. A lot of minds are out there knocking their heads together trying to think, where, where is Bitcoin going to go? How high is Bitcoin going to go? You know, all I think at this point, all predictions are uh, off the table, right? I think we're going to be at 5,000 very soon. The hype is not going down. It's only going up. And the more hype there is on something that has such a limited supply and is so popular, it is the name of cryptocurrencies. I'm telling you, you ask most people to name any other cryptocurrency and they're gonna give you a kind of look. But Bitcoin, everybody knows Bitcoin. Name recognition is incredibly important. Now, one other big thing I did wanna quickly point out over here on CoinMarketCap is of course the continual downward slide of Bitcoin Cash, which will probably in the next couple weeks be overtaken by IOTA and that spells the end. That spells the end. Of course, IOTA is amazing, but, um, you know, Bitcoin Cash just, you know, not maintaining that kind of level. It's lost a lot of market cap value. So maybe we'll see Bitcoin Cash continue to make its uh, leaps upward. But, you know, Litecoin is still really holding on. A lot of value being held in Litecoin. It's a very stable coin, and I think people are using Litecoin as a store of value because of that. Okay, moving on. We're going to talk about Russia and Ukraine today, both for different reasons. We're talking about Russia because Russia is just embracing Bitcoin on a way that should make, you know, the United States absolutely ashamed of themselves. You know, the fact that the regulators over there are trying to, you know, crack down on ICOs and they're cracking down on, you know, being able to buy Bitcoin because they want to control everything. That's what, you know, they do in America. Control, 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 control. And so over in Russia, actually, they're opening it up. They want to be involved. Imagine that. Of course, I love Russia. Russia's uh, absolutely one of my top favorite places in the world. You know, and so uh, what do we have here? Russian farm produce chain embraces Bitcoin. So, uh, by the way, in uh, Russia, no GMO foods. It's banned by law, which is awesome. I love living in Russia. So much fresh, tasty food. Okay, so they are now accepting Bitcoin, which is great. You know, and I just bring this story up as a way to point out that you know, more and more and more businesses are accepting Bitcoin or other coins as forms of payment. And we're going to see this continue to move forward where companies like this will be accepting Bitcoin for payments. You're going to be able to go with your 10x wallet and just tap, 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 tap everywhere. Or even just pay straight with your Bitcoin wallet, of course, uh, obviously, too. So <clears throat> now I mentioned this recently in a different video, but I thought I'd bring it up again. And that is Russia's plans to rival China in Bitcoin mining. Now, there is an ICO currently underway under the name of Russia Miner 
company, Russia Miner Company, they're doing an ICO, and basically uh, for getting your tokens, you will get 18% of the revenue generated generated by this company's mining equipment. So that is a pretty good offer, actually. Pretty good offer. It's an interesting ICO. I mean, I haven't had a chance to do a lot of research into that particular ICO yet. But that's actually pretty interesting. I, but I bring this story up not because I'm trying to talk about the ICO for Russian Miner Company. You can go check that out yourselves if you're uh, interested in it. But really, that you know the the nexus of Bitcoin mining is moving, right? I'm really glad that another big player is actively trying to get involved in the process. So I'm really happy to see that that is going to be Russia and that they are going to be you know trying to do that. You know, maybe they'll be using some of their hydroelectric dams, for example, to uh, power these, you know, Bitcoin mining farms uh, in the future. So that's really interesting. I think it's a really cool project and nice to see it happening. Now, one other thing here as well. Russia prepares to legalize ICOs. Again, complete opposite direction from what America's doing. America's cracking down on ICOs. You know, Americans have been cut out of Bitfinex. They're not allowed to buy Oda, not allowed to buy EOS. You know, what's going on? It's crazy. Whereas Russians, Russians are, um, you know, getting right into it. And I think that's fantastic. You should have I ICOs legalized. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? And straight on the back of that, ICO event helps uh, in Moscow. A deep dive into ICOs. So that's also really exciting. I think we're going to see a lot more ICOs actually coming out of Russia. There's actually quite a few companies uh, that are based in Russia. There's a massive amount of programmers in Russia, a massive amount of tech development happening in Russia, and we are going to see more of that moving forward. So again, really exciting news uh, coming out of Russia. Now, uh, also, Ukraine's central bank moves closer to cryptocurrency regulation, which is, uh, I hope, a good thing. I hope a good thing. It would be nice to see, you know, it's properly regulated, but, you know, we shall see. We shall see if they uh, they click on properly. Not massive amounts of uh, faith in the, the government of Kiev over there, but hey, what are you going to do? At least they're, you know, letting all the Bitcoin uh, ATMs be put in. 150 Bitcoin ATMs coming to uh, Ukraine in the very near future. 30 by the end of August and uh, another 120 by the end of the year. So that's pretty exciting too. Uh, this is just a fun story I thought I would share with you guys. Authorities in Kiev arrested a few guys uh, for illegally Bitcoin mining. Apparently there was a state-owned swimming pool and these guys went and hooked up a whole bunch of uh, Bitcoin mining rigs in there and were stealing the power, basically. Uh, I think that's uh, it's kind of a funny story, but it's also, uh, you know, hey, <laughs> get in there and get that Bitcoin while you can, guys. I hope they uh, stored it somewhere that they're going to, when they get out of prison, <laughs> they're going to be able to spend it up. Uh, anyway, I thought that was just a, a fun story to share with you guys there. So, anyway... That's, that's all for the news. Now, if you are interested in getting involved with Bitcoin, if you're not involved with Bitcoin yet, you know, and you're thinking about how do I get involved with Bitcoin, this sounds really exciting, I definitely want to get involved. There's a lot of ways to do it. You know, you go over to Exchange and buy it. If you live in the States, you can use Coinbase, uh, but you can also use CEX.io. It's where I go to get my um, Bitcoin when I want to go buy some. You can also buy Ethereum over here, but I go here to get my Bitcoin. Now, I make money in rubles. So I actually uh, pay for my Bitcoin in rubles, which is fantastic. It makes it super easy for me, but you can also use US dollars, euros, and pounds over here. Basically, it will take a few days in order for your account to get confirmed. Now, that's going to be the same anywhere, 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 anywhere. There is so much hype going on right now. There is so much interest in the Bitcoin market currently that basically any company you go to to try to buy Bitcoin with is overwhelmed they are they're just totally overwhelmed and so expect to take you know anywhere between two to five days to actually get confirmed on any site you might join right now right and I've, I've signed up for quite a few of them and that's that's you know been my experience is that it takes yeah between two and five days to actually get confirmed to get verified and you have to get verified you know you have to send your passport or you know your driver's license copy through to these guys Look, they're not trying to steal your information. They are just, they have to verify it. They, they don't want fraud. You know, it hurts these companies a lot, so I understand why they're doing it. It's a pain in the butt. But, you know, the sooner you just do it and get verified, the sooner you can start buying Bitcoin and get involved in the process, guys. So I've got a link for CEX.io down below. You can hit that and sign up over there. Now, another great way, of course, that's really popular is uh, cloud mining. 
So for 150 bucks over on Genesis Mining, well, 145.50, if you use my 3% discount code, which I've popped in down below for you guys as well, so feel free to hit that up. If you do use my discount code, please guys, leave your discount code down below and say, hey Lark, I used your code for an upgrade, here's my code, and I will hit you guys back when I do an upgrade in the future, okay? So please leave your codes if you use my code. I really appreciate that, and I, of course, really appreciate you guys uh, using my code too. So TerraHash over here, 145.50. And over on Hashflare, it is 120 USD. Again, I've got a link for uh, Hashflare down below too, so you guys can hit that and go over there and pick up some sweet, sweet cloud mining power. Now, <clears throat> let's have a look at the numbers here. I think this is really interesting. If you go and spend $150 over on CEX, you will get 0 0.031 Bitcoin. For your hundred fifty dollars, well, we should call. Actually, let's call it one hundred forty-five fifty. So point uh, point oh three and some change, right? Now remember, so it's one hundred forty-five in Genesis, one hundred twenty in Hashflare. Hashflare has got slightly higher fees. Genesis has slightly lower fees. But what's your profitability going to be? One tera hash is going to get you point zero nine nine. Now there is some fees to pay. Bitcoin mining difficulty will go up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I would estimate that in one year, you'd probably have 0.06 and some change. Again, after fees and after paying, um, you know, accounting for the difficulty increases, which there are going to be difficulty increases, especially considering the massive amount of attention that Bitcoin's getting right now. But the year after that, so that's after what year one, the year after that, you're probably going to get, um, I don't know. 0.03 or 0.02 Bitcoin. So you're still going to get some money on the second year. Maybe the year after that, you're going to get, I don't know, you know, 0 0.009 or something like that, or, you know, 0 0.008. So a very small amount in the third year as the difficulty does uh, increase quite a lot by that point. But so, I mean, total, you're probably going to get somewhere close to that number after a couple of years. It's not an instant payout. You do have to wait. It is a, a daily process of mining. Mining is a patience game which actually works quite well uh, psychologically because you can't just go spend up all your money instantly. Or, you know, if the price drops a little bit, you don't go and panic sell. So that's really good. Um, but again, you know, if you did want to, to get that, it's a big difference from 0.03 to get 0.06 or more Bitcoin. You just have to wait a time. And guys, you should be in this for the long term. You should definitely be in this for the long term. Don't go trying to short your Bitcoin. You know, I mean, there are, there are people out there making money doing that, but that is those guys' full-time job. You know, is, is trading Bitcoin your full-time job? If it is, well, God bless you. If it isn't, you guys should be taking the long-term bets here, the long-term. And that is, that is definitely what I do. I look long, long-term on Bitcoin. The price predictions for Bitcoin are out of control, and I don't think that they're unrealistic. The chances of seeing a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, a Bitcoin that is at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars in the next, you know, two to ten years, is not unrealistic. But you have to hold your coins, guys. Don't just get them and sell them. Don't. If you go and buy for four thousand two hundred and twenty-four dollars, like it is here, fine. Don't sell it. If it goes down to 4000 tomorrow, don't panic sell and think, oh my God, I'm so glad I got out of that Bitcoin stuff before I lost all my money. Nah, you just got to chill. You just got to chill. Decide your price point you want to sell. If you buy it for 4000 decide, okay, I'm going to sell it at 20000 I'm going to sell it at 40000 If that takes a year, if that takes two years, that's fine. What else are you doing? Just chill out. Just chill out, guys. Anyway, that is all from me today. Guys, if you have any other news that uh, I've missed about... Uh, Bitcoin mining in Eastern Europe. I'd really be keen to hear that, you know, so definitely pop that in the comment section down below. Really keen to hear any information coming out of Russia or Ukraine uh, on Bitcoin. And guys, that's been the Crypto Lark. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.